The state fund that many people along our coast depend on to protect their homes is in danger of going broke, and that's putting thousands of people in limbo. Action 13 consumer investigator Jeff Ealing is live in Galveston to explain what's going on. Jeff? Dave, for the people who live along the Gulf Coast or have a business down here, they have a mortgage, they have to have Texas, they have to have windstorm insurance. And for many, the only source for that coverage is Texas Windstorm Insurance Association. But we're learning tonight uh, that that agency could put itself in receivership or bankruptcy, a process that could begin as early as Monday. It would kill the coast from Galveston, Surfside's Little, uh, Padre Island, Corpus Christi. Beach House owner Brooks Porter says without windstorm insurance, coastal construction will grind to a halt. The reason, Porter says right now, the only way to get windstorm insurance is through the Texas Windstorm Insurance Association. But on Monday, the TWIA Board of Directors is scheduled to vote on putting the association in receivership or bankruptcy, a move that could leave homes and businesses without coverage. And it just freezes the whole building and real estate you know, business on the coast statewide. Larry Davison believes he would feel the impact of a bankrupt TWIA immediately. The reason for the drastic move is money. The state's catastrophe fund has less than $200 million in it, far short of the $2 billion paid out during Hurricane Ike. Back then, TWIA mandated insurance companies contribute money to pay out the claims, then allowed those companies to charge Texas insurance policyholders a premium tax to recoup the losses. That process has changed, and not enough money is left to cover a disaster. TWIA plans to vote Monday on placing the association into receivership, but state lawmakers say they will likely intervene. I anticipate the legislature will do something regardless of what happens Monday. Mm -hmm. It's just, are we going to be doing it in a crisis mode? And again, that vote is scheduled for Monday. We'll let you know what happens. Reporting live on Tiki Island, Jeff Ealing, 13 Eyewitness News.